audio resources for for quality teaching learning so i welcome you all in the session good morning good morning over to you team a uh, good morning a uh, good morning hello friends uh, greetings of the day to all of you uh, uh it's a great delight to be with all of you uh, welcome to all of you and uh, we are the audio team from cit and cit new delhi uh, uh welcome to all and we will call it a radio show rather uh, mm -hmm. instead of saying it a session it's a radio show because we belong to the audio so i am ajit uh, i am vandana and i am vimlesh namaskar namaskar uh, uh friends before we uh, come to uh, the main topic of creating the audio resources or the e content in audio we would like to share a story with you are you interested to listen to the story i hope that all of us like the story you know so we are going to share a story with you in a joint manner yes. we are going to speak about it and do mind that uh, it is directly concerned to our profession it is directly concerned to all of our concerns as a teacher so we are going to talk to you so uh before we come to the topic i said that we are going to share a story and the story is uh this is a story that uh, uh, of it is another incident. incident yeah it is a incident that shook the world and it is a very horrific uh, story mm -hmm. it's as vandana ma'am said it shook the world you all are very well aware the most tragic uh, incident of 911 yeah 911 and uh, we are talking about uh, the most tragic attack of 911 uh, and uh, in this attack we all know that the commercial aircrafts were used as a missile and they hit the twin towers of world trade center and within less than 1 hour the entire building or the infrastructure collapsed in this attack commercial aircraft were used as a missile yeah so uh, what concerns us in fact that i would like to share with you and that is that that uh, uh, so many people died as vimlesh right now told that the death toll was uh, more than 2000 yeah, isn't it yeah, yeah. but so many people those who were really fortunate were saved also were rescued rather i should say they were rescued and after two uh, uh, after two years one interview was taken by uh, bbc british broadcasting corporation and the one who was rescued on that day he was giving his interview and what did he say we would like to share with you and i hope that uh, it is going to concerns all of us sir uh, excuse me uh, very good morning to you sir uh, we have a request that audio is very low so if you can just raise the volume yourself and everyone is requested to also check the audio of their devices that they can increase the sound of your devices also thank you uh, is it okay now hello hello is it okay Uh, sir, okay. to me, okay, so to okay. me, it was okay only. There were participants who were complaining, so we'll just see. Yes, okay, ma'am. Yes, okay, ma'am. Okay, sir. Okay, Ajit, sir. Yes. Okay, okay. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, what? Uh, where I was? Just let me remember. Yeah. Ah, okay. uh, so I remember that uh, okay. uh, that person. He was interviewed, and uh, he shared his experience, and he said one thing, my dear friends, that uh, he said that ah, uh, uh, just after the twin tower was attacked. by the planes and uh, we all were literally horrified we, we were literally terrified and we ran to a room and we hid ourselves we hid ourselves and uh, it was a dark room and we were almost 10 or 11 people yes. there waiting for the death almost and we did not know what is going to happen we were simply trembling with the fear that was happening there and uh, he said that we were hopeless sitting on that room because it was dark and no one was there to guide us all of a sudden something happens uh what did i say who came on that time uh, uh, a halogen light came uh, appeared that time and uh, he followed that light ha huh. uh, in fact a person come and he shouted to all of them follow me and he had a very powerful halogen light yes and he said that we did not have any discussion with him why should we follow you or uh, or i mean anything else he did not say anything but simply he said we started following him and after uh, a short while within 5 minutes or 6 minutes not more than 6 minutes we found ourselves very safe and we found ourselves out of the building and we felt that we are safe so later on he said now i am coming to the crux of the story and i hope that all of you are going to like it and he said that uh, the question is why did we follow him why did he follow him why did we follow him so he said we followed him because he had light 
because of light because of the light and uh, uh, if you you already know that the first prayer of the upanishad also begins with the, this prayer that lead me from the darkness to the light world is filled with the darkness my dear friend so many uh, i mean so many students so many young hearts they might be facing the depression they might be facing the frustration they might be witnessing their broken families and on that time they also feel their feeling is also equal to the feeling of that feeling which that person had he was also simply waiting for the destruction and there are so many people so what happened that right now we would like to say ki if you have light knowledge is light you know and uh, the very first prayer of the upanishad is tamsoma jyotirgamaya jyotirgamaya lead me from the darkness to the light and all of you are the teachers all of you are the teachers if you have light you know my dear friends and uh, since it is a ict I think, yeah i uh, i mean ict training course it is a extra fuel to your knowledge i would yeah. like to say it is the extra fuel so so many people are there waiting for you you can read their eyes right. you can read on their eyes that, and that then you can see yes you build the trust so that the your students can uh, uh, trust you and if you have light you can uh, bring them to escape the darkness and uh, they can they also can come to the light so you are the torch bearer so lead them uh, uh, with you, with the jyoti with light so it is the extra fuel and uh, uh, we all once again okay. welcome you aur bahut bahut swagat hai aap log ka all are all of you are the sp teachers and we would like to say that let us share the light and so many people are waiting uh, in the classroom alone they are and uh, they need to listen to this word from you all follow me and when you fo- and when they will follow them the time will come when they, they are going to share their testimony there was a teacher in my life who made mm-hmm. i must say uh, who made me and uh, who made a very decisive path on my life so thank you very much for this story and uh, i hope that all of you have uh, liked it now we are going to the topic we are going to the main content so uh, we also expect your responses we also expect your responses so now we are going to uh, slide 1 slide 1 and uh, if it is good you can uh, nice simulation sir uh, that's very good and uh, we would like to listen to we would like to get the feedback from you so we are going to now slide number 1 so as we said that uh, i am ajit i am amina and i am vinesh and you can see that it is presented by us this audio team so welcome to all of you once again uh, after this story so now we are going to uh, the main content and uh, just wait for this just wait for this uh, mm-hmm. yes right so welcome session is over so now the question is there and we all are going to talk about it do you think bandra that the radio is unpopular uh, i don't think so the uh, um, actually there is a assumption people say that now tv is there so we watch we enjoy so uh, tv is more popular uh, it is an assumption I, as i believe yeah it is an assumption what do you think vimlesh uh, i i don't think so okay, radio is unpopular because first thing what we will do uh first thing uh, when we start our car we just play our fm that is radio only so we cannot say it is unpopular so as the slide sh- um, says right now that if we look at the research results okay so it shows that it is not like this we can follow with this chart right now and here it says that uh, weekly 44% of the total population in metropolitan cities this sample is taken from the mid india and 44% so 44 i mean percent is not a small percent it's a big percent uh, it's a very big percentage and here we can see uh, we can go back to the same slide we can go back to the same slide yeah and here we see that uh, again one more percentage you can see and that percentage here you can see that it is uh, daily daily listeners are how many 50% Yes, you fifty percent. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And as Vimlesh said, that uh, uh, most of the people listen to the broadcast. So l- let me share with you that in cosmopolitan cities, more than seventy three percent, if I am not mistaken, they listen to the FM, they listen to the radio, and they shape their opinion according to the radio, radio program. Radio program. Yes. Also, uh, it is FM now which is governing the market. Yes, isn't and, it? Uh, yeah, we when we walk, we uh, we drive a car, or we go anywhere. Uh, we uh, are with the radio only this slide we are going to the next slide now and uh, it's going to be very interesting now so we are going to the next slide and uh, here we see the strength of the radio 
okay uh, the strength of the radio what is the strength as just now we have heard as just now we have heard that uh, radio is now it is actually coming very fast it is coming up very fast so many people are listening to it and now we are going to talk about the strength of radio strength. because it is the topic of e content e, yeah. audio e content the so audio content. what are the strength actually uh, the the popular the one of the main uh, reason is the popularity is because this is a very economic very uh, i mean cheap i mean you can uh, right. you can anybody can uh, i mean uh, lowest of the i mean uh, backward uh, uh, class they can also afford a radio set so a radio it, set it can be a phone also it can hmm. be a, a yes, radio or true. tape recorder also hmm. so you can listen anytime and anywhere it is easily movable also hmm. you can listen radio program anywhere mm -hmm. as your convenience so mm -hmm. both of you have said that it is very economic as yes. well as very affordable affordable, affordable also yes. okay very affordable ah. but the one more thing i am seeing here and that is it allows the multitasking yes. what do you mean by this okay. what what should we understand by this if you will say about the multitasking mm -hmm. uh, if you are uh, in the kitchen if you are studying you can listen to the radio program also so this is uh, wow this, yes mm -hmm. yes that is there so so you can uh, you can do multitasking like uh, if you are uh, getting bored by this study mm -hmm. and you want to entertain yourself mm -hmm. so you can listen radio i would like so, to just have a walk maybe in the yes, room yes mm -hmm. yes so in the walk time in the kitchen time in the study time you can uh, listen radio and you can do your uh, work also so yes. we should summarize it by saying so that uh, it doesn't captivate us yeah, yes when you uh, create e content as we may said Uh, if you are bored with the text uh, material, yes. you can listen to that e-content. E-content also, yes. Of course, of course. And uh, there is one thing more there, and we are seeing this. It is the wider reach mm -hmm. in tough geographical conditions. So, what should we understand by this? It is uh, not very difficult to understand. Like uh, India is uh, a country of, I must say, the diversity. Even the geographical diversity is. We see that uh, we have the Great Plains of Ganges. We have the Great Plains of the Godavari at the At desert. the same time, we see we have the desert and we have the mountainous terrain also. Yes. Okay, so in the mountainous area where it is very difficult to plant, I I must say the I mean TV towers or uh, something else. You know, on that condition, it is a radio signal that reaches to almost every nook and corner of this world. Uh, one one quote I would like to say that uh, someone has said it is the radio wave only that covers the earth more less just after the sun. just after the sun rays okay mm -hmm. so it is there so in the tough geographical condition also it is radio that uh, makes it very easy reach that's why we have this slogan reach to reaching to the unreached ha uh, those who are uh, out of our reach radio can definitely make a reach one more thing we see and that is also strength of the radio and it is more effective in natural calamities yes. so all of you remember the one of the calamities that i very well remember that was the calamity of sri lanka when it was the cyclone also in the andhra all uh, we have all the uh, i mean south indian friends uh, this morning so andhra cyclone you must be remembering on that time what happened almost all the tv towers were uprooted yeah. mm. and what happened on that time that only it was radio that helped so many people were perplexed they did not know what to do and no one had any idea what is going on on that time and somewhere were and some people were literally crying we have lost our dear ones and all of a sudden the announcement comes on the radio and it comes like a good news yes. it sounded like a music you know and they said that so and so you should not worry about your dear one because they are rescued and they are with us in the camp yes. what a wonderful news it is so it is more effective in natural calamities Simply, one more thing as uh, you know the the corona period when uh, the the uh, world was closed hmm. the education was continued with the ra with radio So twenty four by seven, uh, the radio program e content was there created and uh, stu the studies were uh, continued. Uh, and studies. I want to add one thing in Vandana's mem, uh, Vandana mem uh, hmm. conversation uh, that uh, in the COVID time, uh, it was the only radio that uh, less the screen time. Yeah. Actually, uh, uh, the children's were uh, depends only on a uh, screen that is uh, mobile or hmm. TV. So the uh, it was the radio only that uh, lessened radio the screen time yeah. uh, i remember vimdesh and vandana that uh, there was a term called the screen time yes and on <clears throat> and on screen time the great discussion was going on all over the world almost it was a global discussion mm -hmm. that because of this corona time so many i mean students not so many almost all right, they yeah, were yeah. involved in Uh, to in continue the in their only. study mm. with the screen only mm. so 6 uh, hours of study and the 
and again if they need some entertainment yes. again they would the they would have the screen so because of this i mean screen time there was a conference in geneva mm -hmm. uh, last to last month i just came through this new just yesterday only and uh, it was the conference of the of the all the ophthalmists okay all the ophthalmists and they said that uh, mainly this problem has come in children they are unable to see properly mm -hmm. so radio reduces the screen time also mm -hmm. rather uh, radio gives an ease to your eyes. So it is the strength of the radio. We are now moving to uh, the another slide. But before that, we say one thing. Uh, what do you see here, Vanda? Uh, uh, radio uh, radio enhances your imagination. The, the, when a, a child uh, in a small class, what teacher does, uh, it encourages a student to think, to think and, and speak. So uh, radio is the very uh, powerful medium to encourage, to uh, enhance uh, imagination. If you are uh, watching TV, so uh, the, <laughs> that same yes. watch, uh, what you are uh, watching, that uh, you, you do not have time to think, hmm. you do not have time to imagination, but uh, the, in the radio, uh, you can uh, think about that uh, it can be uh, different uh, according to your imagination only. According to imagination and uh, one thing, uh, in almost every workshop, I used to say that uh, uh, radio broadcasting is basically nothing, but it is talking to a blind friend. Blind friend mm -hmm. is, uh, as the broadcaster, we are blind, we are not looking at the audience, and the audience is also blind. So only there is a link of imagination. imagination. They have the imagination, like uh, you are looking at our faces, but uh, if it is radio, uh, we would have given you more opportunity to think about our faces, you know, that mm -hmm. how do we look like? Mm -hmm. So it is like this, so it is... Uh, uh, it also allows more imagination by the sound effect, by the music and all. So now we are going to the next. And here we see types of the broadcasting. Types of the broadcasting. Very soon we are going to come to the, I mean, course, I mean, core topic. So now we are going to see this type of the broadcasting. There are three types of broadcasting. So, uh, I mean, type number one. It is terrestrial broadcasting. What do you mean by terrestrial? It is uh, by the uh, magnet. Uh, we are broadcasting through the magnets also uh, in broad areas uh, in broad area we can as see that here is the broadcasting tower and it is the electric magnetic waves waves, waves okay so cit has the terrestrial broadcasting now you can explain about it uh, we have uh, uh, by, through this we broadcast i mean uh, our ter terrestrial broadcasting is uh, by uh, 132 all india radio stations uh, and uh, uh, with that we have uh, we have 255 community radio stations and uh, we have gyanwani fm stations also so we are we are broadcasting through 398 that is around 400 stations radio stations we are broadcasting our radio programs so it is a terrestrial broadcasting uh, have you seen any akashwani center or all india radio center you know the broadcasting center there you will see the antenna like this yes. mm -hmm. so uh, the broadcasting which depends on antenna we must say that is the terrestrial broadcasting. It is short wave one, two, three, or even the medium wave. So it is the terrestrial broadcasting. But the time has changed. Now that now the terrestrial broadcasting has almost come to. I must. I should not say that we it could. is. Ha. Huh, it is now losing its peak. But at the same time, nowadays we have the internet broadcasting. Yeah. And internet broadcasting is through internet broadcasting. We can go globally. Yeah. Through internet, we can reach uh, every nook and corner of the world. world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it is internet broadcasting. We can broadcast from the one room and reach. Uh, we can reach uh, to the world. Okay. So <clears throat> these are the types of broadcast. Now we are coming to a must ask question. Okay, must ask question, and uh, we are very much mindful of, of uh, your time, of our time. So just enjoy the session, and we would like to also have your, uh, I must say, the reaction or the interaction. What how are you feeling about this session? So now one concept comes and that is called the broadcasting. Yes. So what is broadcasting? Uh, when we do, uh, when uh, we uh, separate the words broad plus casting, broad means a uh, big, big area and casting means to put. When we are putting uh, magnetic waves to a big area, that is broadcasting. Like I can say that uh, uh, I'm speaking from London, maybe from uh, BBC, British Broadcasting services from from there i am speaking hello friends i am ajit and uh, she is vandana with me and along with me uh, mm -hmm. vimlesh is there and we are talking from bbc london right now so friends we are very happy to uh, have you all in our broadcast and we thank you very much for uh, 
uh, your letters, for your emails. And uh, right now we are going to start a wonderful music recital. Just listen to this program. So I'm speaking from London. We are speaking from London, but you're listening to it maybe in some uh, remote area of Andhra Pradesh, mm -hmm. maybe in Assam, yes. maybe in Kerala. In Kerala. So in a very vast uh, geography, geogra geographical area, okay, when the electronic magnetic waves are cast, it is called the broadcast because it is the, the area is very broad. That's why it is called the broadcast, broadcast. right? So we are coming to the next now and uh, the meaning is already there. So we are coming to the narrow cast now. Yeah, the similar, you can uh, derive the, uh, the meaning of uh, uh, narrow cast from the previous discussion we had that when radio signals are cast or thrown or put in short geographical distances, uh, to a narrow landmark. Uh, narrow landmark. That is around uh, 10 to 12 kilometers, we can say. Mm -hmm. It goes only a short distance and distance to a particular target audience, yes. to, to a particular community. So we are sharing our message to a particular community and we can deal with specific uh, questions, uh, specific issues like uh, if they have uh, some water issue, they have some local issue so we can uh, go uh, to by the narrow casting only the concept of narrow cast came after we realized the value of the strength of a community yes. Yes. because when we say it is akashwani patna ranchi bhagalpur okay <laughs> so uh, uh, no any particular area is defined and all the areas and especially uh, uh, i mean india the country like ours we have the vast diversity you know so we need to have the community broadcast we need to have we need to narrow so that we may become very precise and very, I must say, very, uh, very summarized with, a, with whatever is the agenda that we have yes. or the community agenda. So this is the narrow cast. Now we are coming to the next and now we are coming to uh, the real core program, the real core subject of uh, today's session. We are talking about now the formats of the radio program. Oh, yes. We cannot say that we just produce a program, <laughs> okay? Uh, we just produce a program. What do you do? Uh, I produce program. I uh, produce radio program. Radio program. Yes. Uh, what do you mean by radio program? Uh, I record what do you and produce? I produce. I produced a radio program. It's an audio program, sir. Like audio program means the program which I can uh, listen. listen to. Okay. Yes, huh? yes. No, but uh, what do you produce? What is the? Uh, is there any particular definition of a program? Uh, audio program. Uh, what kind of? What type of audio program? I have understood. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is audio program? You are producing audio program. Mm -hmm. You are producing radio, radio program. Mm -hmm. I did not understand anything. You know. So, uh, is there any specification with your program? Audio, audio program, program, sir. Sir, <laughs> audio program. Only audio program. So which we can listen, sir. Ha, ha, which ha, From, we, yeah, which we can listen to. Okay, okay. Narrow cast, sir. We listen audio program. So all of you must have seen that how unprofessionally we spoke yes. right now. Okay. Hmm. So uh, friends, uh, uh, we have a concern to share with you that this, uh, uh, I mean, radio program, uh, it has an international grammar. Each and every program has a format. Just by saying so that we are producing program, we are not spared. Okay, <laughs> like she, what what you are producing? Program, radio program. And you? Audio program. Audio program and radio audio program. Okay. Program. <laughs> <laughs> so there is an international grammar. Hmm. That's why we say it is the format of format. the radio program. Okay. So uh, now we are going to format number one. And if we speak on this way, that uh, we we produce the program in this format, then we shall be internationally acclaimed. Yes. Okay. Mm. So we are coming to the formats of the radio yes. program. And format number one, format number one, uh, next slide. What is the format number one? Here we see it is? Uh, radio documentary. Radio documentary. And uh, uh, it is one of the most popular formats of radio. Yes. Mm. Mm. The word documentary has derived from the word Document. Ah, document. document. Right, right, yes. right. Uh, now, uh, document doesn't mean only a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, whatever is documented and is available is documentary. Yes, a record or something which is on record, mentioned or accounted for. Like uh, we can say print material. It can be a print material. It can be audio also. Uh, uh, if we are talking about the document, it can be a video. It can be a, any manuscript, tablets and inscriptions. We can uh, consider letters also, diaries and photos for documents. So it is based on the facts only. Documentary means it is based on the facts, no fiction, 
is there in the documentary. Yeah, that and is documentary. Yes. If we will talk about the artist, how many artists can be there? It can be a uh, there. There can be two artists, like okay. male or female. Hmm. So it cannot be uh, more than two or two artists hmm. because it is not a Drama. fiction. Hmm. It's not a fiction. And uh, uh, supposedly, if there is a <laughs> audio clip of Gandhi ji, hmm. if we use we you are using it for documentary, I that think... is a fact. Hmm. So that is a document. Yes. <laughs> we are running very fast. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Uh, it can be the print material. Okay. And hmm. uh, you can see here that the birth of India's uh, freedom. Yes. Okay. Hmm. And it is uh, the news caption hmm. of the Times of India. Hmm. So it can also be considered as the document. Do document. Okay? Yes. It hmm. is document. Hmm. It can be even electronically recorded. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Like okay. Uh, you can follow the screen right now. Hmm. It is audio and video. Yes. Okay. Hmm. But at the same time, it is also the manuscript. Yes. Like uh, uh, when the uh, invention of papyrus was not there in uh, the valley of the Nile of hmm. Egypt, uh, people used to write on the leaves. Yes. They used to yes. write on the leather. Okay? Yes. So yes. most of the manuscripts, which are now found after the excavations mm -hmm. by the archaeological department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So but that is also a document. Document. Yeah. Travelers came to India and yes, they, yes. They, their diaries, their, their do those scripts are uh, documents. Like Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Mm -hmm. Like Fahyan. Yeah. Vasco di Gama. Vasco di Gama. Like Winsang. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they have also recorded something yes. on their diaries. So if we have the access to that diary also, that is also a document. document. That is document. Also the tablets, okay? Also the tablets and the inscriptions, mm. and that is the letters uh, each on the stone, okay? Mm. So all the things are the documents. Document. Yes. As per the Webster Dictionary, yes. okay? As per the Webster Dictionary. One thing is there, and which uh, I would like Vanna to speak now on that, and mm. it is what it is, in fact, how to summarize what is a documentary. Uh, uh documentary is a, the, which is uh, which is based on fact not it is not fiction yes you it cannot is not fiction. Very true. you mm. yes you cannot create a uh, imaginary story and say that it is a documentary mm. you cannot say document means it has to be factual and a record should be there to see record should be there anything we else cannot, ah, yes. we cannot say uh, it is uh, based on imagination mm. we cannot put our imagination in a documentary mm. it is uh, mm. particularly based on facts mm. so now we are going to have a small drama okay? okay we are going to have a small drama and by that we will be able to understand in a better way okay ready for the drama okay fine so we are going to have it okay we all come very tight in the screen yeah, right okay. now so uh, uh, right now you know uh, mute please right mm. so right now uh, assume that uh, uh, i am a producer here in cit and uh, vandana ji is the head of the department okay and we both are working together yes. okay we are a team myself and bimlesh and uh, she is calling us now and okay so we are sitting in our room okay aur kaisa raha din badhiya tha na ha ha very good very good who is on the phone sir who can be I think head is there, you know. I think head is there. Okay, yes. shall I pick up? Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi, yes, Hello, Mr. Ji. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, can you come to my room with uh, with Ji? Uh, I have very urgent work to do. Achha, okay, okay, ma'am. Okay. Just we are coming. Just in a short while. Okay. Just, okay. just wait. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Ah, please, please. Ah, so you called us, ma'am. Uh, what is the reason yeah, for? Really yes, uh, yes, uh, a call from ministry came. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, not less than Pradhan Mantri. <laughs> it came huh. from, uh, uh, the uh, from a very high official. Very high official. Yes, yes. And uh, they are uh, they are. What they, is the synopsis of the call? Yeah, they they want us to make a documentary okay. on uh, 90 years of uh, freedom struggle from 1857 to 1947. A documentary. They want us to make a documentary on and, it. And this has to be produced. Did they give you any stipulated yes, time frame? Uh, I gave them. I said I'll give it, give you in two days. Oh ho! In two days? Yes. How it is possible, ma'am? Do in two days. Uh, day and night. Piece. We shall request you, you ma'am, kindly to extend the time because within two days it is not possible. Not possible. See, so many things are there. You know, yeah, so many things see, are there. Hmm. What is audio? Come, go. Uh, record in the studio, and go. Record and that, but that. It's but not okay. like that, ma'am. You have said it, it is, is documentary. It is not just a fiction. You know. Hmm. It is not just an imaginary story that we so can we write. we can write in the night. Ha, in the night and story. we can record. It is not hmm. like this. Man. So how long do you uh, need? No. See, hmm. we have certain uh, assignments that we yes. have to do. Hmm. Uh, Vimlesh, I think that you can go to Akashwani. 
Yes, for the research. And uh, for, for the research and, mm. and mainly for getting the uh, audio bites of Mahatma Gandhi yes, and also surely. Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Surely, okay. I'll, I think uh, Akashwani archive must be having these uh, audio bites. And I must go to the Delhi Public Library. Okay. And uh, also uh, some more libraries are there, ma'am. So at least this research work, mm. it takes time. At least we would like to have at least three to yes. four days. Okay. Okay? okay. So can you request them to extend the time at least for one week? Uh, yes, I I will even I will extend because for three four days you will research. Huh. Then you will make a outline yes. of the document. Right. Huh? Then huh. you will ask a scriptwriter or you can you yourself can write. Hmm. Uh, the story uh, yes then you will edit that script mm. according to the we will uh, see about the sound effects sound also effects music also, also. also. Yeah. I mean, at the same time like uh, mm. in between this uh, this incident comes you know this mm. this actually jaliya wala mm. so we cannot use ak47 yes. yes. that was not uh, invented during that time mm. they used the 303 uh, so we have so, so we need to have the sound effect uh, yes. sound effect of that mm. So, so uh, can you request them kindly to extend the time at least four months, yes. at least one week? Yes, yes. I'll and, and even then, even in one week, you need you need to work day and very night. hard, very hard. So then we will be able to produce a documentary. documentary, right? That is documentary, right, sir? So I think it's very clear to all of you, and uh, we have demonstrated this. Like uh, I was very much perplexed, and she was also worried that uh, how come it is possible to produce it within two days? It is not possible. Is not At possible. the same time, also we have to find out uh, what kind of the music yeah. uh, was used on that time. Like mm -hmm. uh, uh, I cannot say that guitar works everywhere. No, yeah, yeah. I cannot say that even the keyboard. No, mm -hmm. we have to go through uh, deep seated research to find out that what kind of instruments, musical instruments, yes, what was the musical trend, trend during yes. that time. So after that only, yeah. we can go for and a documentary. And what were the slogans? The, uh, what, what were the slogans? slogans even. You cannot uh, say Mahatma Gandhi Ki Jain in, uh, in early uh, 90s. You cannot. Because ah. that, that term was not, not direct. Yes. So, uh, it was not, you cannot use anywhere in uh, 1857. So you need to be very careful about using the facts, music and uh, slogans. slogans. Like we cannot say that Angrezo Bharat Chodo. Ah, you cannot. Yes. Ah. Yeah. It is only after 1942. Hmm. It is only after that. So this is documentary. Fine. This is documentary. So we are now going to the next and uh, hope that uh, all of you have enjoyed this session. And now we are going to the next. And uh, next is, uh, that is not in the slide right now, but uh, we are going to talk about that. And that is basically, that is basically documentary. And uh, after documentary, it comes to docudrama. Yes. What is a docudrama? So, uh, yes, this screen will work. One more, uh, I mean, concept comes, and that is also formats of the radio program. And that format is docudrama. So, what is docudrama? Uh, documentary, that, as name suggests, docu and drama. Docu plus drama. Docu plus drama. Mm -hmm. So there is a document, mm -hmm. there are facts, but uh, also a drama is there. With some facts, we uh, can include a drama portion mm -hmm. that is docu drama. No, but why mm -hmm. drama is required? Uh, for, mm -hmm. More imagination for uh, creating the situation. Yes. Drama and for is decreasing required. the monotony. Yes. 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 Of course. Yeah. And so we can add mm -hmm. more artists in the uh, docu drama. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if your uh, the target audience is uh, younger, so uh, the solid documentary may not uh, work entertain, them. entertain them. So you need to have a docudrama. In that the document that facts comes and you create a drama hmm. which is uh, which is uh, based on the facts, but the dialogue the, the things are not factual. An hmm? artist can be another artist. Uh, hmm. If uh, if uh, we can give uh, Mahatma Gandhi's role to hmm. someone, hmm. we can give. Uh, Navarkar role to someone. Mm -hmm. So it is also possible in docudrama. It mm -hmm. is not possible in documentary. Document. Yes. Uh, is it like role play? Yes, almost, mm -hmm. almost. Mm -hmm. To some extent, it is like mm -hmm. a role play. But at the same time, we also have to be very careful of one thing that we must go to voice profile. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, voice profile, how to explain this? Voice profile means we must know how Mahatma Gandhi's uh, Sound. voice sounded, you know, mm -hmm. how he sounded like. Like he did not have a very bassy, very tone voice. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a very, I must say, not shallow, but a shrill voice. Okay. So if I assign the role of Mahatma Gandhi to someone who is having a very bassy and very tone voice, it is not going to be, uh, it is not going to be justified yes. with that particular role. So at the same time, that's why we have to go for the voice profiling, profiling sound yes. profiling. That's very important. Mm -hmm. So uh, the character also must sound like the real character. Real, okay. Yes. So that is called the docudrama. 
in documentary uh, generally two male and female mm -hmm. two characters are there to present the drama supported by the sound effect yes. sub supplemented by the sound effect mm -hmm. right. but what will happen in docu drama like she is narrator one yes i, I am narrator be. two yes and uh, she may be the artist, artist. of the drama okay mm -hmm. she comes in between of the drama mm -hmm. so again uh, she will speak then the drama will come mm -hmm. then i will speak then drama. again again drama, again drama will come yes. like this so it is the combination of drama and yes. narration. narration okay so let us go to the next but it is also uh, based on facts only yeah. huh. it is also, so, it yeah, is also, yeah. huh. yes, yes. Mm. this is, suppose are you uh, creating the uh, uh, incident of jallianwala bag the the truth is there that the date is fifth the uh, area of that incident is fifth but the the dialogue uh, people are crying and saying something that can be that you are creating that you are creating because it is not there like uh, uh, we can have the example like this uh, shall we have a very short demo of this okay. ha, demo can be like this friends it was uh, the day of baisakhi and uh, there was a great gathering in uh, jallianwala bag and uh, to the surprise to the surprise of to i mean all of you we would like you to know that there was only one door and so many people were coming and coming and coming and they were very excited to listen to dr kichlu they were they were very excited to listen to uh, lala lajpat rai and the crowd gathered the crowd gathered hmm? dr kichlu ko riha karo dr satyapal ko riha karo riha dr. karo ko riha karo dr satyapal ko riha karo riha karo so it is the drama uh, uh, in the beginning it was the narration part right documentary and then the drama came and they were very excited to listen to dr kichlu and uh, also doctor uh, i mean dr satyapal and also lala lajpat rai all of a sudden something happens okay then the roll of the sound effect okay the army boots yes rap 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 okay ha yes. that is coming hmm. rap rap it is coming it is coming yeah. and and at the same time the message is going on hmm. like i am i am speaking hmm. and uh, she is no, now going to and now she is going to uh, i mean play the role of general dyer okay you are marching is also now i am narrating okay okay so ha huh, okay hmm. and there is one door one small door general dyer came with the uh, 77 police uh, army men hey, how dare this i have already ordered and the orders were issued isn't it i issued the order i issued the order just two days before but no one obeyed i will give them a good lesson i will give them a good lesson move fast move fast <laughs> The army is coming. The the sound effect will be there, okay? And then they are not going to listen to what I am saying. I am going to teach them a good lesson. Now fire! And then the and then the fire goes on. Okay. Single shot rifle. That was basically three not three rifle, okay? And then the people are running and they are actually they are shouting. They are dying. the death cry and all the things that there then again i will come hmm. that such a pathetic scene my dear friends it was so many people died on that day and after that when that that very place was observed by some of the observers sent by some political parties they saw that uh, just in one well just in one well there are, there were so many dead bodies and even the sand or the soil of jallianwala bag was smeared with the blood was smeared with the blood so this is called docu drama no. this is docu drama shall we move to the next now uh, now we are going to uh, have the next i mean format and then uh, we shall write now okay now this is radio magazine okay now this is radio magazine so what do you understand by radio magazine okay as uh, again the naam suggest radio magazine is a, a combination of variety um in other words we can say it contains a uh, various mode of uh, presentation mm -hmm. it can be a drama it can be a poem it can be any song so combination of many formats it uh, is a radio magazine rather in the hotel language it is a media combo yeah media yes. combo a uh, media combo okay so <laughs> it is a combination of combination uh, of uh, formats yes. of so many formats of so many styles of presentation so yes. look at the screen right now we are going to have one more demo mm -hmm. and uh, you can look at the screen like uh, uh, assume that it is the school magazine okay it is the school magazine and uh, it has come to me uh, just uh, day before yesterday it came from the press mm -hmm. and having a very good smell yeah 
Yes. Achha hai na? Yes. Hmm. Very good smell. And it's, see, it's, the cover page is beautiful. It's written and uh, there is a, their uh, signature uh, uh, address. And it is a school building, you know. Yes, yes. Just... Hmm. It is very beautiful. Hmm. It looks uh, more hmm. beautiful than the real building, you know, <laughs> because the paper is glossy. Okay. Yeah, let's see if an uh, interesting thing inside Haan, so, or not. So, okay, matlab, school building that we have seen. Yeah. So, now let us go. What is there? So, it is, uh, I mean, page two. And here is the, it is the editorial. Yeah. Someone uh, is saying something. Ha, big big things you know <laughs> high uh, high sounding words are there okay but we are the students yeah, okay, we are the students so very high sounding words so okay fine but uh, yet uh, uh, the one who wrote it you know mm -hmm. seems to be very intelligent mm -hmm. uh, very nicely written very good so it is page number two now we are coming to page number three what is here Bimlesh? Oh, it's a very beautiful story mm. ah, it's a wonderful story yeah. okay right right and uh, i think on that day only you wrote this story now <laughs> your name is here that's why on that day i asked you what are you writing but you you did not share with me on that day you know so it is a very good story but i like story you know do yeah. you like story yes ah, the story is there but uh, what is here in the next page hey, wow, this poem beautiful. this is a poem yeah. very good and what is there in the next page uh, it is a very good cartoon, cartoon okay? Yeah, very good cartoon. Mm. So, what did we see, my dear friend? Like, as we continue to turn the pages, the variety has changed. Mm. And when we close this magazine, again, there is a there is a signature address and everything. Ah, everything. Okay. So, uh, as we turn the pages, we see the variety in the article, okay? So, same thing is there with the radio program also. Yeah. Like... Uh, uh, we are going to have a demo once again. Uh, friends, uh, welcome and good morning uh, in this radio show. And uh, thank you very much. Right now it is morning and I hope that all of you are driving and uh, you are listening to our radio show. Sure. So uh, myself is Ajit. And I am Vandana. And I am Vimlesh. So the first part of this, uh, first part of this uh, magazine program that uh, I, am going to, I am going to conduct and the second and the third that belongs to them. Okay, so uh, we are... Uh, First of all, uh, I would like you to listen to a wonderful recital. Uh, I mean, the piano recital, and uh, it is produced by, it is composed by Ludwig von Beethoven, a wonderful, a wonderful composer. So listen to this wonderful music, enjoy your time, and uh, smile while you listen to the program. Because I know one thing that when you smile, most of your tension, you know, most of your depressions, that also comes to a decrease. Yes. So smile. Um, along with this wonderful musical recital. But uh, hold on to your breath that uh, Vandana has also something in her store. And after that, uh, Vimlesh is having a bigger, uh, I must Sorry. say the bag, you know, <laughs> a bigger bag to have. So uh, we are going to listen to the uh, recital of Ludwig von Beethoven followed by a story. And after that, you will listen a, a song. A song. So these these three are there, you know, so, this, so we can say that it is the magazine format, like uh, uh, it is not only a plain documentary. Mm. Uh, I came along with the instrumental. She came along with the story. Right. I and, came with the song. And she came along with the song. Then then again, I will come along with the music. Yes. yes. Or, or I may come with the news. News for today. Okay. Mm. So this is called the radio magazine. magazine. But uh, uh, when the um, uh, narrator uh, huh. starts uh, saying, welcome to the... Before that, this cover page comes, which is a signature tune. And uh, mm. the address, the CIT, NCRT presents audio program, audio magazine, Umang. Umang. And music comes. And maybe some jingle will be there. Some jingle may be there. And same thing happens uh, in the end of the that magazine program. So this is the magazine format. Yes. We are going to the next now. We are going to the next. All of you are understanding this quite well. And uh, these are the details. It can be song, it can be drama, it can be interview, it poem. can be a poem, it can be a story, mm -hmm. it can be instrumental, it can be talk, it can be panel discussion, panel discussion and All so on. Yeah. So ultimately it's a variety. variety. It's a variety. So it is radio magazine. We are going to the next and it is a radio feature. Huh. What is the feature? What is the radio feature? We are going to uh have i must say a very deep-seated pondering over it what do you mean by feature like uh, if someone has a very uh i must say elevated nose we can say the feature is there that nose is very elevated yeah. or the fair complexion or 
Beautiful everyone smile, yeah. ha, beautiful smile that can be that can be the feature a person can be featureized by a beautiful smile yeah a person can be featureized by maybe uh, beautiful eyes maybe yeah. by the beautiful eyes maybe uh, one person can be featureized by a beautiful style of speaking yeah. maybe yes. or that person that person he who speaks so sweetly yes okay okay that girl who smiles so nicely mm. okay so these are the features so out of so many attributes uh, everyone has multifaceted characters everyone has multifaceted qualities yeah. but out of so many qualities when, when you featureize uh, uh, one or two uh, features huh. when, when you highlight in a program that particular feature that that program uh, uh, comes into the feature format yeah that comes into the feature format like uh, we would like to give you an example and uh, example is of uh, mahatma gandhi and this example we often on we give in almost in our every program we almost we do ha huh. so now we are coming here like uh, mahatma gandhi about him it is said that he was a multifaceted personality yes. he was a saint he was a writer also he was a general also yeah. he is a uh, gardener was, and he was a freedom fighter yes. he was also yes. a snake charmer yes. okay uh, and we are quoting from the book that is published by ncert bahurup gandhi yes. on that there is one more feature that feature is auctioneer gandhi the auctioneer mm -hmm. ab uh, now uh, what is the connection between the great personality of gandhi ji and the personality of an auctioneer mm -hmm. it is very difficult so out of so many so many attributes like one more attribute you know gandhi ji used to write by he used to write by both the hands he used to write by right hand and when he felt that he is not tired he used to have he used to write by the left hand also so it is also dexterous dexterous yes so now we are coming to the main point like uh, uh, how can you uh, how can you understand or how can we how can we featureize one of the very prominent features of gandhi ji and that is that is uh, auctioneer so uh, i mean there is a scene we would like to take you to that scene and that scene is like this friends it was a uh, uh, a very big ground in bombay and uh, uh, a big meeting was going on a big meeting was there there was a very vast gathering so many people were gathered there to listen to gandhi ji gandhi ji was himself there to talk to the audience and he was talking about the freedom struggle and he was seeking the support of the freedom struggle from the public and then he said that we need to contribute something we need to contribute something so the scene is going on now bhaiyo behno please uh, baith jaye uh, please calm down mahatma mahatma bapu is, uh, is trying to say something bapu 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 bhaiya hmm. bapu aur uh, deshwasiyo uh, ye hamara param kartavya hai ki hum rashtra ki swatantrata ke liye apni ladai ko jari rakhe lekin iske liye hame uh, kuch kosh ki bhi avashyakta hogi iske liye kuch funds uh, bhi hum mein se har ek ko dena hoga तो तो फिर देशवासियों इस समय अपने 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 ध्यान को इस समय इधर लगाइए इस समय मैं चाहता हूं कि आप में से हर कोई कुछ ना कुछ जरूर राष्ट्र की स्वतंत्रता के लिए स्वतंत्रता संग्राम के लिए कुछ ना कुछ वो जरूर दे दस रुपए लाया हूँ दस रुपए हाँ दस रुपए धन्यवाद 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 पचास रुपए बापू जी पचास रुपए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आइए ना सेठ जी सेठ जी ही आए हैं ये 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 पांच हजार रूपए देना चाहते हैं पांच हजार पांच हजार ठीक है सबको कोष में जमा कर दो सबको सबको कोष में जमा कर दो मुझे जाने तो मुझे बापू के पास जाने हटो कौन है कौन है कौन है मुझे बापू से मिलना है बापू से मिलना है मुझे बापू के पास जाने दो बापू के पास जाने दो अरे कौन है उसको रोको मत उसको रोको मत उसको आने दो बापू आने दो आने दो आने दो हाँ आप लोग शांत हो जाए आप लोग शांत यस डू कम बापू आई वॉन्ट टू गिव समिंग फॉर दिगम You want to give the donation for yes, the freedom Bapu, struggle? Yes, Bapu. What do you have to give? Bapu, to? I have only two lemons. Lemon? Lemon, Bapu. Hey, lemon. Se kya karenge? Bapu, Le lemon. lemon. How can come? Lemon is there? Bapu, Bapu. Ye desh ke kam kaise aa sakta hai? Desh ke kam? Ye desh ko lemon. Shant ho jao, shant ho jao, shant ho jao, shant ho jao. Ben, ye nibu hai. Ye nibu mujhe de di. Shatiyo. all of you are laughing that what these two lemons can do 
but i believe that this that these two lemons can do wonders and what wonders it can do now, that now we are going to see so now i would like to auction it okay i would like to auction it so uh, 101 101 101 101 101 500 2001 2001 6001 6001 10000 10000 some more some more some more how many did you say 20000 i said 20000 20000 20000 30000 30, 30,000, 30,000, 35,000. 35, okay, okay, 35,000. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, anyone sir, else? Uh, ah, he said 40. Someone has said 40,000. Uh, is anyone there of these two pieces of lemon? Is anyone there? One lakh. One lakh, one lakh. Mm. We can have a clap on this. One lakh. It is one lakh now. See how wonderfully this lemon can do. Mm. And uh, friends, after, and the one uh, who actually bid for one lakh. He paid this one lakh amount and so many big people were there. You know, the CHG or the businessman or yes. the, or, or the, I mean, industry list, so many people were there. Everyone has contributed, no problem. But these two lemons, they did the wonders. Why? Because Gandhiji was wonderful. So that's why this particular article is there. He was the auctioneer, yes. Gandhi as the auctioneer. So when we are going to produce a feature, yes. out of so many things, everyone knows he was a freedom fighter. Yes, yes. and the thing is that this effect, this is fact, uh, this story is a factual story, and uh, the poor, the whole incident was based on fact, mm. but it is dramatized and uh, featureized only one uh, feature of uh, one aspect of the uh, thing. So uh, this is the uh, uh, radio uh, feature. Yeah, this is radio feature. So this is the so this is the radio feature. And uh, what did we do on that? Uh, out of so many attributes of Gandhiji, out of so many multifaceted characters of Gandhiji, we did one thing that we simply picked up one, one particular thing. one one particular aspect of his personality that he is in he is an auctioneer. And now it is also the creative writing that if I say let us read something about Gandhiji. He was a great freedom fighter. Everyone knows. Everyone yeah, knows. Yeah. What is new on that? But when I say that, do you know that he was also an auctioneer? Mm -hmm. And on that, we are going to produce a program and we are going to broadcast the program. I believe that we will have the greater PRP. Yes. So many people are going to listen to it because they will find it that, yes, wow, there is something new. Mm -hmm. So that is what the radio feature is. Mm -hmm. So uh, it can be featured on any of the rivers. Any of the rivers. It can be featured on Taj Mahal. Yes. It can be featured on uh, maybe on, the any, any tribe or any uh, any particular any tribe. tribe. Yeah, Actually, it can be a monument also. Yes, it can be a monument. Uh, uh, it can be a a particular cultural aspect of yes, a particular of tribe. Yes. It can be a good ritual. It can be anything else. So uh, this uh, uh, actually feature format is very popular. Like uh, actually people would uh, start thinking they are going to broadcast a feature. Let us see what feature they are going to bring. Yes, okay, yes, yes. so this is feature. So this is the feature format. Now we go to the next and uh, the next format. Yes, uh, entire thing is here. The entire, uh, I mean, content is there and we shall share with uh, all of you. Mm -hmm. So you do not need to worry for that. Yes, here we see now it is a radio talk. What is a radio talk on that we are going to talk now? What is a radio talk? Yes. Uh, radio talk, uh, at, uh, again, as uh, name suggests, talk is talking to uh, the person who, be, who is not near to you. You are talking, uh, you are talking to on air, on air and uh, you are not receiving, uh, uh, you are not conversing. Actually, you are talking. So this is our talk. A radio talk requires a presenter and a subject expert. Uh, yeah, it, it can be mm -hmm. done uh, without the subject expert. Be, uh, also, you can talk if you have content. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, presenter will introduce the subject expert and invite the experts to speak on this subject on her or his expertise. Mm -hmm. Like maybe there is a very particular issue in a town, mm -hmm. yes. maybe the issue of the water logging. Yes. Okay. Yes. In Delhi, we normally face this problem, mm -hmm. this uh, water logging. Yes. So on water logging is a water logging is a subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on that, I have in I have invited a scientist yes. or I have invited a particular expert. person who mm -hmm. knows about it, and mm -hmm. I will call him expert. He is the subject expert. So he will be invited. We will have a talk. 
over a cup of coffee, coffee yeah. and then of course uh, i would also like to know what he is going to speak it should not be anything political yes. like he should not say that uh, government is hopeless mm -hmm. he should not uh, say such things on the broadcast so, so when we talk uh, we need rehearsals we, we need, need rehearsals, rehearsals and yeah. also written script written yes. script is also required yes. written script is also required like i am not sure what he is going to speak yes, i yes. cannot catch his mouth yes. at mm. the time when the, the broadcasting is going on yes. you know yes. so to avoid that I, uh, what did I say that we invite, uh, we will invite an expert yeah. and we will request him to come along with a good script yeah. and on script we, we always sit together yeah. and we, entire team will be yes. there. And we will discuss about uh, yeah. what yes. he is going to present. present. Yes, and as we, we may just said, we discuss, it is not, you, you, you should differentiate it with the interview. Yes. He's not asking and uh, other one is not replying. Hmm. They are discussing, they are discussing the issue. So uh, this is talk. If you are discussing with the subject expert and you're talking to the uh, audience. You're audience. talking to the audience. Basically, it's a talk. It's not it's a, a conversation. Yeah. Basically, it's a talk. Like, it's a talk. like you're talking to the people. And uh, when you're talking, uh, it is also called the uh, radio talk. It is yes. also called the radio, radio talk. talk yes. And uh, a kind of the lecture. A kind of lecture. A kind of lecture. So a, uh, a kind person of lecture. also can huh. talk. But the tone should not be of a lecture. You yes. know, dear mm. friends, mm. I would like to tell you certain things not mm. like this. Ah, not in a very interesting way, yeah. like uh, not in a bookish manner, yeah, yeah. but in a very... Uh, I mean, conversing manner, yes. like a person is conversing to the people. So it is called the radio talk. So and we can say this huh? to all listeners. Yeah. Right, right. We are talking to you. Right. As, as uh, right now, we are talking. Huh. We are talking. So I can mute. Yeah. Mm. Right. So shall we go to the next and the last and then we will go to the topic of creative writing. Yes. And it is called the Vox Populi. It is uh, uh, not the least but the last. Okay. Yes. Uh, it is uh, one of the last formats and this is called the Vox Populi. What is Vox Populi? Uh, Vox Populi, uh, from which language it comes? It comes from the French. It comes from the French language and yes. the Vox means the voice. The voice. And the populi means, as the word suggests already, that people. the populi means the people. people. So it is basically the voice of the people. people. Voice of the people. And mm. uh, it is one of the very popular formats. And uh, what happens like uh, uh, the broadcaster or the producer can uh, gather the public opinion. Yes. He can go to the public. He can Think. talk about. Mm. Huh, he can go to the public. He mm. can go to the market. Mm. Like if it is the election time. Yes. So we are going to talk about the price rise. Yes. So I will talk like, okay, okay, ma'am. So... Uh, uh, I mean, assume that it is the market. So, what do you feel about the uh, about the hike in the prices, about uh, the hike in the petrol prices? Yes. What do you feel about uh, it? We are very what to say. Price is going very high. We uh, cannot. We are speechless now. We are speechless now. We yes. are speechless now. What to say? What about the what about the vegetables? What do you feel like the election is now Sir, at the hand? क्या बताएं daily इतनी so so many interviews hmm. so many interviews that uh, we will collect hmm. we will come to the studio and then we will do certain things and certain thing means we will edit, edit. Uh, some uh, uh, versions can be suitable some cannot be cannot some be. cannot some be yes. so suitably it can be edited and then it will be put together hmm. then we will speak like this yes. friends uh, till today you heard us but uh, today we are going to hear you. Uh, you are going to speak to the audience now. Yes. So we are going to produce, we are going to broadcast a wonderful program, Vox Populi, Voice of the People. Voice of the People. Voice so, of the People. So it is called the Voice of the People. And as you are educationist, uh, your uh, people, you can uh, talk to uh, your, your students, students, your students on any subject. And people, your students will listen to their voice and they, I mean, they will be more associated with the program. What is the voice of the students in your class? Yes. What is the voice of the students? What is the voice of someone who never speaks? Yes. What is the voice of someone who, uh, who are almost, uh, who is almost seen quite alone? Hmm. What is the voice of that person who is not even able to speak or fumbles? What is the voice of that? So you can, you can bring it out. You can bring it out. And it becomes the voice of the sweet children, voice mm -hmm. of the young hearts, you can say. And it will become very effective. Like uh, the students are also going to like it so much that I was speechless almost, but now at least I'm able to speak. Yes, yes. We can gather their opinion about even the teaching methodology, 
about also about the presentation that sometimes uh, let me let us admit hmm. as a broadcaster sometimes we think that our program is hit yes huh. it is going to be super hit but uh, when we go to the research when we talk to the audience we uh, we come to the conclusion that it was not as that great as, as we expected we, as we expect. it happened so hmm. if we could have if we would have collected the voice but, of the people yes. if we would Box have some uh, yes. i mean backup of the data so it also helped us it also would have helped us to really produce the program in a new way new that, that can also be so it is the voice of the people so now we are going to the next and now uh, almost the time which is left with us yes we, <laughs> Huh, okay, okay. Uh, now we are I would going request to participant to mute themselves. Huh. Now we are going to the next, and our uh, topic is going to be now the creative writing. We are going to how to write for radio. On on that we are going to talk, and these are the formats. And I hope that all you have taken a good note of that, and uh, we are going to share this slide also with you. So you need not to worry for this. So we are now going to uh, a very important, a very important topic, and that is the creative writing. Yes, yes. Broadcasting is good, drama is good, everything is good, but uh, it is not good if we are not creative. Yes. If you are not creative, you know. So the creative writing is very important. So a very hearty welcome to all of you uh, in this uh, second session, almost yes. intermingled with the same session. Okay. Yes. So on that we are going to do. So number one, what is the e content? Yes. Next slide. What is the e content that we will see? wait just wait just wait i'm doing true so most welcome to all of you and uh, what is the e content yes all of you know but uh, hmm. we would like to uh, say a few words on this what is e content um, the content which is uh, uh, recorded on uh, electronic uh, medium, uh, uh, educational uh, content, or also any known content, as the digital content, is digital content, which it is uh, e content. Yeah, that is e content. So all of you know about it. And uh, e in e content, uh, I mean in e content, it can be the broadcasting, it can be podcasting, yes. it can be the it can be the television. It yes. can be a radio program. It can yes. be a radio program. It can also be a message sent by mobile yes. yes mobile has become rather more popular now in sending the e-contents yes. so this is the e-content all of you know all social media runs on e-content uh -huh. on e-content and internet yes. so we are coming to the next now e-content that we have seen now uh what should we expect in this session we are going to discuss about what is creative writing and uh, with special emphasis on writing for audio or radio programs yes. So we are going to uh, just have a look uh, at this image. And what do you see here? Uh, I can see a pencil that is connected with a bulb. A pencil that is connected with a bulb. bulb yes. hmm? That's all I can see here. So pencil, uh, pencil it represents uh, what? Pencil uh, represents uh, uh, writing and yes, writing. Uh, yes. And I think. But why it is connected with the bulb? Uh, bulb is a uh, brightness. Uh, uh knowledge it is the light it yes. is a light so if we write something if we write something which creates the light yes, yes. is the creative writing yes. right. okay <laughs> so this illustration indicates that creative writing enlightens mm -hmm. the light or the knowledge it enlightens people that's mm -hmm. why we say that it was very enlightened talk yes so uh the creative writing it enlightens and at the same time, it eliminates the darkness around. Yes. Right. So darkness is there, darkness of ignorance, mm -hmm. darkness of so many things, darkness of maybe the depression, dark, darkness of maybe so many other things, the, I mean, paucity. Mm -hmm. So if writing is creative, you know, it is going to eliminate the darkness. Mm -hmm. So now we go to the next. We are not going to be very uh, long now. So there is a difference in just writing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a difference in just writing and the creative writing. Mm. Words are limited, but their power is infinite. Mm. So what are the salient feature of a creative writing? What is the symptom of a creative writing? What do you, what do you feel? Uh, uh, in creative writing, uh, there's a flow. Achha, there is a flow. Huh. Yes. Uh, flow in what? Flow, uh, flow of, uh, of saying. 
uh, it language. is uh, a flow of language mm -hmm. i mean you speak in a uh, in a spoken language which which uh, which attracts the audience yeah. okay uh, would you like to say something yes uh, as vanna ma'am said uh, it should be a flow in the language there should not be intermittent intermittent means uh, uh, there should uh, there shouldn't be a break, break. Yes. Yes. like we say that uh, we see in the sky the intermittent clouds mm -hmm. that means the it will be raining and it will not be raining mm -hmm. okay so uh, nothing can be predicted mm -hmm. but it uh, it is not intermittent mm -hmm. if the flow seems to seems or felt unbreakable it is creative, creative writing. writing it is creative writing mm -hmm. munshi prenchand says that if uh, without any interruption if you are able to read a particular story and if you enjoy it that is a creative writing yes. munshi prenchand so we are going to talk on uh, uh, on creative on creative writing and next slide yes. next slide right so these are the uh, these are certain ladders uh, uh, that we need to climb to achieve the goal of creative writing okay mm -hmm. Letter number one, you need to have the interest. Yes, you need to have an interest. If there is no interest, I won't be able to do anything. Yes. If I'm not you interested, you cannot write creative can, things. Yes, you can. If you are not, I mean, interested in that, now you cannot write. And interest can be that can be of your own subject, hmm. yes. or you are interested in some particular topic, or it is given to you, but by the uh, students, but by the students or by uh, officers, and you still you are interested in that. that interest uh, comes uh, uh, in the very beginning before creative writing mm -hmm. that is and after, the... after the interest uh, you will explore the things mm -hmm. like uh, what is expected to do what your uh, students wants to do mm -hmm. so you will explore the things according to your interest or according to your target audience or interest mm -hmm. so yes. you will explore the things what you have made earlier on that particular subject what you are meant or what, what is not meant mm -hmm. so you will find the uh, things according to your interest only uh, in other words we can say that we have to think uh, what is not written yet yes or what is not explored yet mm -hmm. okay and what is not even thought of yet so write something which is not yet written written think something which is not yet thought of yes. okay that is the exploration we need to explore and for that we need to that's a very good way to go mm -hmm. like uh, we need to explore the internet on mm -hmm. on a particular on a particular subject or topic so we will see that uh, most of the topics are already there mm -hmm. so why to repeat that so then if i explore then i have to think that i okay in internet so many things are available but at the same time i need to write something else which mm -hmm. is not available which, yeah, which, uh -huh. is, which not is not available in something new you yes. have to write yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and then we need to go for the innovation innovation mm -hmm. what do you mean how, by innovation how how uh, differently you put the uh, explore explored uh, material you have yes so uh, that is innovation that is innovation uh, the, i mean new experiments new yes. experiments uh, new things that there new dialogues new, new way of writing new way of writing a uh, new way of the i mean modulation mm -hmm. new way of the presentation it can be anything else so that is the that is innovation that is innovation that is innovation all of you know about it then we achieve the goal of creative, creative writing, writing. Yes. that is the creative writing now we are coming to writing for the radio and uh, here is a wonderful uh, i must say it is a saying writing for radio is uh, writing for the ear it is writing for the ear so as we do not have camera we do not have visual aid you have just a microphone mm. and uh, we can say we are talking to a blind friend we are talking to a blind friend like uh, the i am not able to see mm. my audience and mm. audience is even not able to see me yes. so only one thing is there that connects us that is nothing but the voice yes but only the voice 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 or the i mean the microphone yes one thing i used to say all the time one thing that i used to say all the time we all we all ha huh. right so one thing that uh, we rather i should not say i we we used to say all the time that uh, uh, you have only one tool to reach to the audience and that is nothing but the microphone, but the microphone yes. so assume that it is microphone okay it is microphone and uh, uh, pandit jawala nehru said if you smile with the microphone world is going to smile, smile with you. you if you cry with the microphone the world will cry with you the world will the cry world is going you. to cry with you like if i start if i start like this hello friends i am going to uh, present a program to you i am not smiling at all mm -hmm. yes acha but you, but okay you say hello, smiling friends. Huh? Hello friends. friends. How are you all? Oh. Uh, it's really wonderful to uh, have your fellowship on air. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a fellowship on the air yeah. and uh, my dear friends we are having the fellowship isn't it? It is fellowship uh, what do you mean by fellowship? Mm -hmm. Fellowship means many fellows in a ship 
having the same destination. So our destination is to get entertainment. So welcome to this radio show. Okay. So oh if, my God, I think it is. See here, how many friends are with with us? Huh? Though we are not seeing to anyone. Huh? But but we are saying we are not looking at anyone. But so many people are there around, and uh, our computer screen it tells that so many people are involved, isn't it? Hello, how are you? Like this. So it is. So if you smile with the microphone, hello friend. Before you speak anything, smile. It depends on the, but at the same time, it depends on the nature of the, nature content, of the content. Nature of the content. You can even make a very somber mood. It can be anything else. Yes. So, uh, it is the only tool. It is the only tool. The microphone is the tool. Okay. So, if you smile with the microphone, the world is going to smile with you. So, we are going to the next right now, and uh, uh, it's a very important aspect that we are going to deal with now. The next, uh, uh, the next slide. So writing for radio is writing for the ear. Writing for the ear, like uh, uh, what should we say that we make people see by ear? By ear, by ear yeah. And did you get our point? Yeah. We make people see by their ears. ears. They listen to and the story seems. Yes. I remember one thing, one very famous, I have forgotten the name of the poet, but he writes about a wonderful storyteller and the name of the storyteller was Martha. If anyone knows, they can message us. Uh, who who is the writer? I I just forgot actually. And uh, he talks about Martha. Uh, he uh, he's writing a poem about Martha, and he says, uh, and he says, wonderful. She is a wonderful storyteller. You listen to her. You listen to her, and the story seems. You listen to her and the story seems like uh, she has a wonderful art of modulation, the articulation, the presentation. It is so wonderful that the story literally seems you can you can see you can see by hearing. Yes. So uh, actually producing a radio program is, I think, more difficult than producing a, a video yes. program because we have to make them see by, by ears, ears, by the ears. So, so many things are there which contribute to, uh, I mean, making them see that is the sound effect. That is the words, that yeah, is the yeah, sentence, yeah. and uh, so many things. But there is one very particular word, and Bimlesh remembers that very well. What is that word? That is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia, okay. <laughs> what do you mean by onomatopoeia? Now we go to this. Onomatopoeia, if you are the language, uh, if you are back, back. Uh, if you, uh, you may be well versed with this word, maybe. Uh, in Hindi, we say it. Uh, Dhvani Alankar. Dhvani Alankar. Okay. Onomotopoeia. So the radio writing must be onomotopoeic. Mm -hmm. Onomotopoeic. That, that means we, uh, we must write in such a way that it must sound. Yes. Uh, the script must be in a, in a position to accommodate the possibilities of accommodating the sound. Yes. That is what I am saying. So onomotopoeia. Okay. So let us see some example of the onomotopoeia. Right. So uh, it is the, uh, we can go to the next. Uh, to the next and and then we will come back this is the example of onomatopoeic writing okay so they so they both are uh, now going to present this so uh, in column one we see it is a simple expression but, but in column table. two yes but in column two we will see very creative expression accommodating the sound yes, yes. accommodating the sound so sample one i mean i mean column mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. sentence one mm -hmm. yes the cup fell from the table. Cup fell from the table. Okay, it is the information we know. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. It fell from the table. Mm -hmm. But how to write it onomatopoetically? Yes. yes. The cup fell from the table and broke. And broke. It means? It means some sound effect came here. Some mm -hmm. sound is there. So you have spoke to add a sound effect in your step, huh. in your program. Huh. So actually this is called the onomatopoetic writing. So yes. now we will go to the next. There were birds on the tree. There were birds on the tree, and uh, how you will, uh, how to, uh, how will, how you, will right. you say it uh, in autumn in oh, onomatopoeic okay. way? <laughs> the huh. birds chirping on the tree. The mm -hmm. birds chirped on the tree. Yes. So it is also an indirect. Uh, I I must say the instruction to the producer. To the producer, because if you write like this, the producer can put music or sound effects there. So you need to write uh, in a way. That uh, sounds uh, uh, you uh, can be accommodated in your program. Sound can be accommodated 
it is in your so program you will write the bird chirped on the tree so a producer will definitely add chirping of the birds ah, of course of course so hmm. it is one script is a script and yes. the other script is a production, production script. script so this is called the production script like we give the instruction to the producer yes. that uh, when we are saying here ki bird birds are already chirping on the tree you are now it is a must for must you is. to put the sound effect of the of the chirping of chirping the bird, of bird. okay acha now we are going to the next example next is mozart was a great musician mozart was a great musician so now how to say it in onomatopoeic way mozart was a great musician and maestro of the piano and maestro of the piano that means it is uh, going to give you the i mean scope yes mm. uh, to put or to add the sound the musical sound of the mm. piano mm. okay the musical sound of the piano uh, it is also okay mozart was a great musician but this onomatopoeic writing it refers that he was a pianist and not yes. a guitarist yeah. and not a drummer yes. okay mm. so we have become very specific here yes. we are mentioning that he was not only a pianist, pianist. but also he was a maestro Master. he was a maestro and he, mm. he championed on yes. playing the piano yes. isn't it so by saying so almost we have illustrated his entire personality mm. he was a pianist he was a maestro and at the same time he was a great mm. musician who acclaimed the appreciation of the world mm. yes. so it is like this so we are going to the next now next is in exhibitions paintings of michael angelo were greatly appreciated okay thank you greatly <laughs> appreciated it, it can be a news item okay yes. but how to say it in uh, in uh, uh, i must say the onomatopoeic way yes. right in the exhibition the paintings of michael angelo gathered great applauses great applauses mm -hmm. that means the applause will come yeah. the i mean talking of the people will yeah. come the ambience yes. the and, ambience will come yes and uh, one more thing uh, as he mentioned here uh, angelo gathered great applause so applause sound can be added if you say uh, there was a uh, exhibition of mm -hmm. paintings mm -hmm. uh, uh, in audio program a painting cannot be shown so uh, you need to know what kind of uh, uh, sound, effect. sound effect uh, will be there and at the same time the onomatopoeic way of mm. speaking like how to uh, show uh, uh, how to show a drawing yes. like look how brilliantly he has used the colors mm. oh it's wonderful you know uh, i never thought that the color of the hat can be like this mm. and it also it is a red color sir huh, mm. it is a, it is a red color but look at the combination combination, combination is wonderful yes. isn't it so uh, we have to describe huh. Uh, the everything everything uh, uh, editing is uh, in audio program in so, audio program of that painting right right so mm -hmm. uh, so actually now we have uh, already understood i think we all understand now what is the onomatopoeic writing so remember this term this is very important the cup from fell from the table it is the simple expression but the but the onomatopoeic expression will be the cup fell from the table and broke and broke, broke. so here you have a scope sound you have a chance to add the sound effect of breaking uh, of the of, cup of i mean breaking up of the cup so we are we are going back to uh, to the previous slide right here we see that the creative expressions it's very important when you write for the radio it is very important to write like this here are some examples an example is here like uh, one is called you can see it is a informative writing mm -hmm. there is no any dirt there is no any paucity of the information on this but how to express that very creatively it is one of the example these uh, i mean sentences are the examples okay so example one we can mm -hmm. we life can, is very busy and we haven't time it's a very simple thing you know mm -hmm. all know <laughs> all know life is very busy and we haven't time yeah. who doesn't know <laughs> please switch off the radio <laughs> uh, uh, like this you know life is very busy and we, we have time. time but how to say it very creatively what is life if full of care ah ha ha what is life if full of care we have no time even to stand and stare we have no even time to stand and stare it's a very creative way to express something yes. you know yes. what is life if full of care someone has said and that was very boring you know yes. life is very busy and we haven't time okay <laughs> we all speak like this but when we talk in a very creative yes. way when we write in a very creative way then we have to say and she read it beautifully hmm. what is life if full of care we have no time even to stand and stare wow yes. it's a wonderful expression wonderful. you know wonderful expression so now we are coming to the next and it is uh, one of the most uttered sentence <laughs> yes that we say uh, even without having any emotion yes thank so, you for coming thank uh, you for coming uh, thank you thank you <laughs> thank you for saying thank you okay <laughs> like this okay so thank you for coming okay but how to say it very creatively how to say it uh, that gives a very deep impression not mm -hmm. only in mind but also in the heart mm 
So how to say it? Thank you. Thank you for the compliment of your visit. Yes, yes. Thank you for the Thank compliment you so of much. your visit. That means by visiting here, you have complimented me. Hmm. By visiting here, complimented means appreciated. Okay. By visiting here, you have appreciated me rather hmm. that you like me. You know, so so many things are hidden here. Hmm. Thank you for the compliment hmm. of your visit. It's a wonderful word. And when you write uh, in this manner, creative writing, the artist have a chance to express uh, himself in a blank, in a informative style of writing. Uh, artists cannot do uh, much about uh, the the talking. Expression. They cannot show their expressions. Yeah. yeah. Achha, achha, okay. Now you read this. Uh, next is forest was hmm? beautiful. This, this, this. Like, thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Like this, it goes. Uh, you know. Yeah. And if you say this. Thank you for the compliment of your visit. Thank you. Wow, I am I am really grateful to you for <laughs> such a wonderful comment. You know, thank you very much. Like this, it goes. We are going to the next. Forest was beautiful. Uh -huh. I want to, and I wanted to stay, but had some work, so could not stay. So could not stay. Okay, okay. Information is okay, mm -hmm. but how to uh, how to <laughs> present it in a very creative way? Yes. Woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Hmm. Okay, uh, these are the words by Robert Frost. Robert Frost and uh, the title of the poem is Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. And uh, Robert Frost uh, is a wonderful poet. And uh, as uh, the, I mean, status of Sumitran and then Pant is here in Hindi literature, he possesses, he possesses the same uh, status in the English literature. Woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Forest was beautiful and I wanted to stay but had some work mm -hmm. so could not stay. Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So it seems to be a little bit yes. just informative, okay? But it's very interesting yes. if we say like this. So now we are going to the next and it's very important. It's, uh, uh, I, I love this sentence, yes. In quarrels, try to keep quiet. Yes, very simple thing. Mm. Uh, whenever there is quarreling, just mm. keep quiet. Mm. Huh? But how to say this in a very creative way? You must know to speak silence while quarreling. Yes. And here she is saying that even silence can be spoken. Yes. Silence can be spoken. You know, hmm. you must know how to speak silence while quarreling. So uh, when we speak in silence, you know, that becomes more powerful. So it's a very creative way of expression. We are now coming to the last sentence. That is writing for radio is a skill. Writing for radio is, is a skill. <laughs> writing for radio is a skill okay so now how to read it how to say it very creatively writing for radio is writing visually for the ears wow wonderful writing for radio is writing visually for the ears and as we said that writing for radio is writing for ears mm -hmm. okay and by uh, by by making the people listen to the program by the ear we make them see mm -hmm. they imagine can, and huh. they see they imagine and they see. So these are some of the examples of the creative expressions. Now we are coming to almost the last. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, uh, here we see, yes, again, next, next again, mm -hmm. next, no. yes. Mm -hmm. Now these are the uh, some six very important uh, points that we need to remember. Uh, how to write for the radio. Uh, what should we very specifically taken care of when we write for the radio? Yes. So number one is, uh, language of the program should be as simple as possible. Try to keep as uh, converse conversation mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, any example? Uh, for example, uh, as as we uh, see in uh, FM radio channels, yes, uh, we see uh, uh, people talking to you uh, mm -hmm. in a very uh, casual manner. Mm -hmm. So this is the way. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Of course. Spoken language, yes. A spoken language and not the bookish language. Bookish language. We should yes. not have the greed to vomit out the yes. difficult words. Difficult you know, words to, to show our, our knowledge. How to show our knowledge, yes. yes. Mm. So we, we we should not, I mean, we should not be greedy of uh, saying uh, so difficult words to show uh, knowledge, but we need to go to the audience, the, uh, the target audience level and speak to their language. Though it should be a very uh, uh, healthy language, it should not be bad. But hmm. it should be in spoken language. Like Shota, you have a lot of people who are in the world. And you 
मैं अजीत बोल रहा हूँ इस समय और और मैं हूँ आपकी दोस्त बंदना और आ, मैं सर और मैम के साथ मैं हूँ इंग्लिश और हम लोग आज इस प्रसारण से पहले बातचीत कर रहे थे कि क्यों ना आज आप सबों को बड़ी खूबसूरत है कहानी सुनाई जाए है ना तो क्यों ना कहानी सुनते हैं आइए सुनते हैं सुनते तो अजीत आज आप कौन सी कहानी लाए हैं आज मैं सोच रहा हूँ की एक बहुत अच्छी कहानी है वो कहानी तो है वैसे तोते और बंदर की लेकिन उस कहानी को आज एक नए रूप में आज हम प्रेजेंट करेंगे और इसके अंदर ना हमने क्या डाला है थोड़ा सा फन का मसाला भी हमने डाला है तो दिस इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ हाँ दिस इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ रेडियो अब रेडियो में लाइक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल कैन बी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल कैन बी तो दोस्तों आप सबों का स्वागत हम आपका स्वागत है और हम चलते हैं अपने कार्यक्रम की तरफ और आज हम बात करेंगे किसी एक कहानी के बारे में हाँ कोई एक कहानी इन्हीं को नहीं पता है ना कि यानी किसी एक कहानी के बारे में <laughs> मुझको नहीं पता है ना तो नहीं ऐसा भी होता है खुद ही नहीं है हम ही कोई वी आर नो नो लाइफ हियर वी कैन नॉट इम्पोर्ट इम्पोर्ट द लाइफ ऑन अदर्स सो आज हम जैसे मैं बोलूंगा कि हाँ कोई कार्यक्रम तो सोच रहे हैं है ना बजाने के लिए तो ऐसा नहीं है क्यों ना आपको एक कहानी ही सुना दी जाए सुना दी जाए चलो अच्छा अब अच्छा बहुत बार मैंने बार किसी अनाउंसर को सुना था कहानी तो एक्चुअली वी कि व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रॉडकास्ट एंड एंड व्हाट इज देयर तो लाइक उसने ये बोला तो श्रोताओ अब हम एक कहानी सुनने जा रहे हैं लेकिन अगर आपको कहानी के बारे में बता दें तो उसका पूरा इंथ्यूजियाजम जाता रहेगा आपका पूरा चाम जाता रहेगा तो आपको क्यों बताऊँ आइए सुनते हैं कहानी ये भी एक तरीका है टालने का है ना ये भी एक तरीका है टालने का तो ऐसा भी हो सकता है बट वी नीड टू बी We we need to be very focused on yes. what we are saying. तो आगे चलते हैं आगे चलते हैं इसी में एक बात और देखते हैं yes. If you are making a if you are writing for the radio, तो so sentence should be as short as possible. Hmm. Try to keep short sentences as this is a radio program or audio program. Hmm. Listeners may forget what you were saying. Yes. So try hmm. to keep as short as possible. Yes. Complex sentences are are to be avoided. Yes. Because uh. Hmm. Uh, I am going to uh, saying this and then and so uh, and and then and so hmm. so you don't con- con- use conjunctions uh, hmm. to uh, lengthen ah, the oh sentence. Ha. Yeah, hmm. just make a sing- single simple sentences, short sentences for uh, your writing. Yes. And uh, one thing more. Don't have yes. You do. You should not have to uh, read up uh, your vocabulary. You, you must have known. Uh, so, so many difficult words you are well versed of your language or uh, the subject but uh, don't uh, don't try to bring your uh, child to you so uh, i will put everything into the mind of the your listener don't try to this yes mm-hmm. you you uh, you are actually uh, bombardment you are doing bombardment of that child just go to the level of that child uh, of your target audience and uh, 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 use those words that are more comprehensive to that uh, the child ha huh. that's very important and uh, we should not be greedy of uh, showing our intellect yes or uh, how how profound we are in knowledge yes. Yes. that we should not hmm. we should rather come down to the level of the audience okay. and for that we need to have the audience profile yes uh, when we know the i mean profile of the audience we will be able to speak hmm. in a better way in more creative way in more effective It's very important. One thing more is there. We should not. Uh, we should avoid giving the. Uh, what should I say? Giving the sermon. Hmm. It should not. Yeah. Ha. Huh, it should yes. not be sermonized. Yeah. Uh, we should rather talk to them, and uh, we should leave the program open ended, so that yes. let them decide. Let them decide. Uh, we are not going to throw an idea that you have to follow with this, yes. you know, and you have to abide with this. Otherwise, it will not good. You know, like <laughs> like <laughs> this, we are not uh, going to tell. But so, today we will learn. एक हम बहुत अच्छी बात सीखेंगे जस्ट व्हेन यू स्टार्ट सेइंग सीखेंगे एंड इन द एंड यू यू से आज बच्चों हमने क्या सीखा यू विल लर्न टुडे दिस एंड दैट सो यू विल नॉट एबल टू नॉट लर्न एनीथिंग यस और आज मैं आपको उपदेश दूंगा देखता हूं कैसे नहीं सीखोगे हुँ. सीखोगे कि नहीं है ना इफ यू टॉक लाइक दिस तो फिर बच्चा मतलब रेडियो इज कॉल्ड आल्सो द स्विच ऑफेबल मीडियम स्विच ऑफेबल मींस यू आर जस्ट एट द फिंगर टिप्स ऑफ योर आई मस्ट से you are just as the broadcaster mm. you are just at the fingertips of your audience yeah. if they will not like they will simply switch it yeah. off mm. they will they can uh, i mean simply go to some other channel they have so many options nowadays so i need to i need to have such a capacity that mm. we need to grab the audience in a way so that they do not run away from our program yes so that is one of that the one of the you 
you have you, yes you have written very you have done a uh, very good research and you have written a very good documentary you produce a very good program with a lot of search and mixing and what not but the language is such that nobody is going to understand that means hmm. you are failed huh. you are you can be switched off hmm. so it's uh, now it's almost over now uh, from our side so how to use it uh, as far as the i mean uh, radio broadcast is concerned for the education like it can help wonderfully in teaching language hmm. it can also help wonderfully in uh, uh, in teaching the speaking skill or the communication skill and uh, something you can do in between that is the audio e content folklore and folk songs of your state uh, maybe we may not be knowing some folklore of i mean tamil nadu yes. maybe we are not knowing the folklore of uh, andhra pradesh yes. or actually yes. telangana yes. okay so uh, some folklore that should be shared like some folklore are very popular for almost all but we, maybe uh, we are not knowing some of your good folklore so mm. you can write a uh, good folklore feature on some of the important places of your state yes and you can uh, different clans and tribes of your state you can uh, write, right. write on uh, these topics mm -hmm. at the same time what can we do uh, next uh, you can do the struggle of survival in flood clan areas of your state yes uh, maybe land. there are some very remote uh, i mean areas in your state and mm -hmm. in which uh, the living condition or the people may live in a very i should not say miserable but yes. uh, not in a very un, not in a very comfortable position mm -hmm. like we had been to ladakh mm -hmm. beautiful place wonderful place like people are very sweet very nice you know we had been to yes. that that place just uh, one month ago mm -hmm. we were there but looking at their life you know looking at their life it was a real challenge yes so our salute to all those not only to ladakh but uh, to almost all those states in which they live in a very difficult geographical yeah. condition but at the same time they maintain the happiness yes. and they live wonderfully so uh, there can be a success story of such human groups yes. who survive with yes. certain conditions yes. and something more can be it can be travel of some important places mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, it can be uh, good food habits culture culture of your state mm -hmm. flora and fauna of your state animals and agriculture yeah. you can yeah. write and on these topics topic. and uh, uh, one more thing uh, if you writing on any subject or any uh, social or if you, you have uh, some topic you can uh, you can connect uh, these uh, things into your uh, into, into that uh, topic also if you are writing for in science or social studies you can bring these uh, songs or folklore you can uh, 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 you can connect it with a subject so that program can be uh, uh, interesting mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, audience can be i mean you can enhance the uh, range of your audience and program will be interesting so onomatopoeia mm -hmm. that means the accommodation of sound mm -hmm. with the script creative writing the creative writing smiling with a microphone yes crying with a microphone yes. at the same time talking to a blind friend yeah at the same time making people see by ears by the ears writing for the ears these are the crux of this right. session and i hope that uh, all of you must have enjoyed the session so uh, now dear friends it's the time to say goodbye because the time is not allowing us so uh thank you very much for listening to this radio thank show you. and we thank you so much and uh, from me ajit and from me vandana and from me vimlesh uh, we want to say you goodbye and till we meet again thank, thank you. you very much namaskar namaskar so much so i hope after listening you you have really taught us the difference of voice and uh, how it charges everyone even like depressed person or uh, or paused person can uplift one's li life state just through your voice and words and thank you so much all the team for informing such a beautifully about what is the difference between normal program and how you can make a qualitative auditory audio program and uh, small small things of creative writing so we all thank you so much so now i would request you for a tea at first floor so and thank you so much sir we'll again join you in the next session after this tea